Working as a car photographer, I pretty much shoot all over the world and I shoot in the prestige end of the market. When you make a purchase of something like an Aston Martin or a Mustang GT, it's an emotional decision. So basically the photography that is called upon for that sort of work, it has to be emotional and lighting is key for me to achieve this sort of thing. When you're lighting a car, it's always best to start very simple, don't over-engineer it, and take your lights up gradually. These creases give you the ability to hide a light, such as a strip light, so that you get maybe a reflection, but it'd be a very fine line reflection, if anything. The first light, in essence, is gonna be one of the main lights. That's gonna light the whole side of the car. And we're gonna look at using this, which is a, a Profoto 1x6 strip light. This strip light gives us essentially quite a soft light. Strip lights, in their essence, it's a much softer light. It's a more natural light. It's kinder to the actual car. If we bring the light too far over to where we are, yeah, we're gonna throw light on this car, but this light is gonna be very soft um, and it's gonna be very flat, to be honest. So it's always about thinking about the angles. In essence, a good starting point is if you think at 90 degrees to where you are. That's going to give you, in essence, the punchiest, hardest, most controllable light. We've got now a bit of a balance between this side of the car and the ambient light over there. What I've done here is this light, you'll also notice it's, it's particularly low. It's a lot lower than the, the high there. We've got a different set of problems here. If we take this high, then effectively what we're gonna do is start lighting the bonnet. If we light the bonnet, we're not gonna get a huge amount of light down here. We want light on the car, but what we don't want is a big softbox reflection across here. So I pretty much angle that where I think it needs to be. We're pretty much okay. We're getting that light into that shot there, as you can see. We're very low, we've got the reflector on, we've got this pullback so it's fairly focused. One of the great things with these is that we can focus the light by changing the depth of this reflector. We can pull it forward and what that will do will actually focus the light, we can pull it back and it will widen it. So that's what I'm doing here, giving it a fairly focused light. Okay, we've got the front of the car covered. Next step, crucially, we just put the three lights together. We'll now look at what all three lights combined looks like. Because of this skylight here, we've got some reflections on the bonnet. Having that reflection onto the windscreen, having that reflection on the bonnet, it brings that car into this location. We're happy with the car. We're now going to start thinking about lighting the background a little bit. We don't want to push a huge amount of light into this background. Um, so we're just going to actually use one light. And what we're going to do is use, again, a simple reflector, but instead of being pulled forward, this reflector is pulled all the way back on the head. Instead of zooming the light, it's giving us a wide angle of light, and that's what we want. We've lit across that brick wall at the back. We've picked up some highlights. We've got some of the rafters at the top, at the back. I don't really want to go any further than that, to be quite honest with you, because if I do, what we're going to do is we're going to start lighting the room. We've lit the car, we're then going to light the room. We're going to lose the whole ambience, we're going to lose the mood. So the last stage now is to put all the lights together and do the final shot. As you can see from that, we've got a quite nice balance. The car's quite evenly lit, but we haven't lost the shape of this wheel arch. We've got some floor lit and we've separated the car from the background. So if you look at the finished shoot overall, Basically, we have very little post-production to do. The car's illuminated, it's got good tone, good texture, good contrast. Photography is about light and it's about emotion.